Tonight's episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Armec bits that are 75mm long that are really handy for doing whisker boxes and stuff like that up. And I think they're a slight bit of a game changer. Not really reinventing the wheel, but I think it's well worth having a look. Plus, we're going to have a look at all the other bits because I've got a new van this week. All right, touch. Roll the beat. Oi, oi. Good evening, fellow Groove Riders. Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what I thought I'd do is I'll give you a quick tour of some of the screwdriver bits that I use. Funny enough, uh, last Saturday, because uh, I'll put a link above for the uh, videos, I've just done a new video of the uh, V2 DR LC drill bags. And uh, one of my apprentices, he borrowed a few of these little packets that I've got, like uh, old drill bit sets, and he put them all in his little bag with all the different sets. And I thought, oh, that's quite a nice idea. And when I was down at uh, the wholesalers, I see this little set there, which is the, uh, that's the main thing I want to show you, the arm egg bits there. But uh, this week, I actually got myself a new van, and my old van is going to go to one of the other uh, electricians. So what I've done is I've absolutely unloaded. You probably can't see it from there, but behind you is absolutely round full of all the stuff in my van. And what I noticed is I found loads of little uh, drill bit sets and drill bits, which I thought I'd give you a quick tour of and all that. I usually go for the Milwaukee sets because what I like about them is that like this, especially this particular set, they do it, they have about 10 different like sets what they do, but I like these ones because they come with the nut drivers, the HSS bits, and also, which I always love having with my drills, is the six inch holder. Because what I like about that is you can actually see what you're actually screwing, you know, and I think that's proper decent. And uh, this one comes with the, uh, the uh, silver, silver bits, that, like most of them come with black, they're all impact rated. I'm sure the uh, silver bits mean carbon or something some nonsense like that, which I don't know about. But before we get into it too much, if you could do us a massive favor, if you could show us your support for the channel, if you could like, subscribe, and flick my bean, it helps the channel grow. Yeah, so what I generally tend to do is if I'm down tool station or screw fix, or even some of the wholesalers, because like tool station, we go there for all the rubble bags and all that. So for every net, and there's always deals, there's always deals for these little bits, because we obviously always use PZ2 mainly for all our wood screws and all that. We, I always buy the bits, like these are the Milwaukee Shockwave ones. Like with these, I don't usually tend to have any preferences because I must say that DeWalt do an awesome bits. Their sets are lovely, I, I really like them. That's the PZ2 2 drop there, they're really nice. These are the Milwaukee Shockwave. These make me laugh. These are like when they stay up to there, up to 30 times the life. It's just like, it's utter nonsense. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? If you're doing uh, two or three inch screws with an impact drill like this, they ain't gonna last 10 minutes, are they? But you know, it is what it is. And uh, this is like, these are sets here are lovely. You used to be able to get these for a tenner. This has obviously got half the bits missing, but the whole set of this was lovely. You know, I think they probably still do these bits, but these are really nice because you get all the security bits, plus you get flat bits in there, which not all the bits you get the flat heads. And obviously with testing and all that is uh, really handy, but they're really nice. I, I used to, I really like those. And then we've obviously got the older, older bits of the DeWalt bits as well. And then you've got the creme of the, the creme. You've got like, uh, these are set I bought off Amazon, some like flat bit, flat bits. I think they're all four mil those. They're, they're okay. I'm, well, as you can see, I've only used a couple of them. And then you've got these, these are the Weira bits. These are just the PZ2, PZ2, which these are lovely, these are. I really like these. What I like about these, these are also the same as Armeg. Armeg have got their own coloring system for all the bits and that's got a two on the collar and these are beautiful sets they are. These are the, probably the best of the best to be fair, you know, like uh, I'm not gonna try and oversell you anything, but they, they seem to be anyway, cause like well, they get a really good catchment in the screw, screw head as well, which is really nice. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you. Yeah, right. so these are the um, arm egg, these are the PZ2, these are the twister with the magnet holder bits on the, on the top and all that. And these are really nice, I thought when I got these, because Obviously, like all, a lot of these lose their magnetism and all that, and obviously you've got the uh, the climb bit on the, the end, which I'll show you in a bit. 
these, when I first got these, I thought, oh, sweet. These are going to be the game changer of all game changers. These are the Armeg twist set, and they are lovely. You know, like when you're doing one or two, maybe 10 screws, you know, these are perfect bits. Like it fits on there perfectly. You're never going to lose the bit. You know what I mean? It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it holds on there. It's strong as anything, you know, you could do that. The only problem is with that, it's like there, is that if you start over screwing it, if you start over screwing it, because where this is where this is metal, that's obviously metal like galvanized screw, I suppose, you know, and you've got the magnet there, this bit, this plastic bit just shoots off when it hits the wall or anything like that, you know, if you don't screw up there. Obviously, if you're doing like five to ten holes and you you know you're taking your time and you know you're being careful, it's okay, but the trouble is I find is that this gets too hot, this gets warped and then it flies off. But it is quite nice and uh, that is one of the reasons why I want to show you these bits because I think that is probably the reason why they, these aren't. And I'll show you these, these are on a clip here which I want to show you but I didn't want to mess up on this video because you know as it usually is. But this, this clip, hold on, where it's quite new, it's quite tight, it's quite funny really because this has a clip and what you have to do is that you can put, push it in there but it has to go in sideways because I'll show you a close up it's actually got a uh, slot there because uh, we discovered this the other day because uh, we was doing a defibrator me and Ebsy one of my apprentices and <laughs> this was on the side and I kicked off with him thinking that he's ruined my bag like ruined my uh, my things but I think it's actually a function for it is that that stays on there and then you clip it on which is a nice little touch that is. I, I like this case. What it was, me and Ebsy were working last Saturday. Oh, I think I've already told you that, but I've already bleated on about that story. So I've got these, and these were in the uh, wholesalers, like Grant and Stone, my local wholesalers, which they're a stockies of our make. These can't be a new bits because the amount of dust that were on these, and I bought Ebsy and Ollie a set of these as well. So now they're drill bit set, which I've done an extra video, I'm sure I've already bleated on about it, is that this is gonna complete their drill bit set. And I thought this was pretty good. One of the things was that like, as I was gonna say with this, which I was pretty disappointed about, is that they're not magnetic bits, but that is probably why, because of this collar and then the twister range, they probably can't. But if you put that through the magnetizer, which I've got to climb one on my bag, they soon become. And the selling point of these, and the whole reason I wanted to show you, because, you know, is that you can do up whisker boxes. They're 75 mil long. And what you get in this particular set, I've actually ordered, I've actually ordered five of these, which come in a set like this, where they're, uh, these are the 75. And I'll give you a quick run through what you get. So you get PZ1, PZ2, PZ3, you get a Phillips 2, and you get a Torque 15, 20, and 25. And these are the 75 mil long, and these are the 25 mil long. Uh, sorry, these are, these are 75, and these are 50 mil long. This is the bit that I bought the whole set for, to be fair. So eventually what I'll probably do is I'll probably get take, take all of these out and then replace them with all 50 mil bits of all the other parts because obviously the PZ1 we use for dry lining screws. PZ3, which we've been through before, you can use that for the floor pans to bring them up. The Phillips, the Phillips bit is obviously on all awkward screws. And obviously the tech bits you can use for uh, all the hobs and ovens, you know, like especially Bosch, Neff, and all those, they seem to be quite popular, but you don't really need the 75 mil on those. It's, it's just this, and that is an absolute game changer because as, as we all know, the old whisker boxes can be a bit of a pain in the ass to screw in the world. If, if any of you are from, uh, not from England, what these are for, these are an adaptable box, and what we mainly use these for is a, a security lights outside, and uh, what you usually do is you have a compression gland going there, the cable from inside the house, which isn't suitable for uh, external use. So that's why it has to be in an enclosure. That goes in that, and that goes to the light fitting. The light fittings we mainly use in the UK are, uh, have already got a metre long cord of them, because that's a good way of them being able to keep the integrity of the IP rating of the light fitting. And that's how we do it. And most of the accessories we have over here are all got the IP rated for outside. So that's why they all have these collars. This particular one, you could get away with a 30, this particular one, you could get away with a 30, uh, 50 mil bit, but obviously a 75. The Skullmore ones and the MK ones and the BG ones, you need a 75 mil bit. So that is absolutely perfect.
and I thought that was well worth a show because obviously the unit is in an absolute mess. I thought I'll show you some, and that is the end of that one. Right, I hope it's been something to help to you, and I hope you like it, and I hope you can uh, come back. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything to be electric, up the old blues, you know. I'll see you later.